and we're going to decompose our disjunction from line one. And we're going to say G is one of the possibilities from our disjunction on line one. And we're going to say our other possibility is H or I. Oh, by the way, we could tick these off as we go just so we know we've worked on them, but uh, whatever. So line G has ended in all atomic sentences all the way down. And we can see just on line 10 there's a not G and G, so we know there's a contradiction there, and that line is done. So let's go down to line 12 and decompose that into H and I. So that's line 11, disjunction decomposition. So we have H. We trace it up through the tree and we find not H. Contradiction. I. Not I. Contradiction. So we have three failed assignments. No, and we've decomposed it entirely. There's nothing else to look at. This has been totally decomposed, and we can see that there are contradictions in every single truth value assignment. Okay, in the next one we have three assumptions. It is not the case, parenthesis, not S or T. It is not the case, parenthesis, not S or T. It's not the case, not S or T, and it is not the case that T or R, and it is not the case that T or R. Line two, T and not R, or if T and not R. Or R and S. Oh, I'm sorry. Or or okay. Line three, not not R, or S and not T. Not not. R or S and not T. Line four is going to be our first set of work. So there's our assumptions on the board. And we're going to try, of course, to reduce this all to atomic sentences. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to go to line one and decompose our ampersand. We're going to get this term. Negative parenthesis negative s or t. Line one ampersand decomposition. We're also going to get this on the next line. Negative t or r. Line one ampersand decomposition. Uh, then on line six we're going to get from line four, our negated disjunction decomposition. We're going to go not S. Now, I'll just note here, which uh, is probably obvious, that it doesn't matter what order you do the steps in. It's going to come out, you're going to get the same results. So if you did this, if we, you stopped the camera and you went ahead and did this as best you could and then you watched me do it through the steps, you might come out with things in a different order, but you'd have ultimately the same results because it's not possible to get different results if you're using the rules correctly. So, lines 6 and 7, we're getting uh, negated disjunction decomposition from line 4. Line 4, negated disjunction, decomposition. And if you look at your rule sheet, you'll see that a negative over a disjunction turns into a negative sign over each of those atomic sentences. Now on line 8, we are going to say 
line 8 and 9, we're going to see from line 5 our ne negated disjunction, not T and not R. Not T, not R. And that's from line 5. Negated decomposition, negated disjunction decomposition. And line 10. Going to find S. From line 6, of course, decomposing our double negative. So that's easy. So we've gotten to there. Now, we've closed sentence number 1 off by decomposing it here in lines 4 and 5. And in fact, we've closed off sentence line number 4, and we've closed off sentence number 5. So you see the pattern. We close this off, and then we close its results off, and we've closed this off. So we've done all the operations on that. Now we're going to decompose. We're going to go to line 2 and decompose the next step. So for line 11, we'll skip down just a little ways, and we go like this. On line 11, we have T and not R. T and not R.